Epic. We now cross over to get a live Skype interview with the uh, Senator Vihiga County, George Haniri, here on the broadcast. is joining us from the county of Nairobi. Good morning, Moshimiwa. You have been in London in the UK that has the lion's share of all confirmed cases in the United Kingdom, whose Prime Minister Boris Johnson is infected. And uh, you proceeded on self-quarantine after you touched down in the country. I'm interested in knowing your status. What's your status? Thank you very much. Yes, uh, I was uh, in London at the beginning of uh, last month. I came back to the country on the 10th of uh, March last month when the quarantine order was uh, decree was issued by the president. I observed that for the period and I finished my quarantine. I have not exhibited any signs of uh, or symptoms of corona uh, virus infection. And therefore, um, when I consulted my doctor, there was no need for doing the test. Given uh, the fact that uh, we have a limited uh, equipment or kits for the, for the testing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you been tested? No, I have not been tested. Okay. There are reports of members of parliament, the bicameral house generally, uh, reportedly 17 coronavirus positive cases in the country. Does that appall you? Is it worrying? Let me tell you, uh, I think that is uh, what I would call irresponsible uh, reporting. The media should be responsible, should uh, verify the information that uh, they send to the public, particularly at this time when we all have to join hands to fight this pandemic. Yes, indeed, it is true that uh, uh, a number of members and staff of parliament were tested voluntarily, and I have a figure of uh, 262 uh, people who were tested at parliament voluntarily, of which number 100 and 102 were members, 22 senators, and uh, 80 members of parliament. These results uh, for the tests are submitted to individual members and for the cases where I think they will be positive, they will be submitted to the Ministry of Health. So you wonder when you see some uh, section of the media reporting that 17 members are infected, where do they get this uh, uh, information? Because this information can only be relayed to the individual members or the Ministry of Health. So I think this is what we would call irresponsible uh, reporting. And uh, at this time, the media should be very, very careful and verify the information that they send to the people because some of this uh, information is sending panic amongst uh, uh, the people. Thank you. In getting your status, and that, of course, is the reason as to why we in the media ensure that we talk to the people at the centre and getting their reply in regard to, of course, what's reported. But generally speaking of the containment measures so far announced by the government in regard to the effect that has had in the counties of Nairobi will be taking effect tonight in the counties of Mombasa, Kilifi and Kuale. There are concerns that the so far adopted measures by the government are porous and that the government is running after the virus. Are these restrictions working in your view and what's your assessment of the so far adopted strategy by the government? All we would say at this stage is that um, we must support the government in the measures that, that they take. I want to believe that uh, uh, restriction of movement uh, is a major step towards uh, trying to contain uh, the spread of this virus. And we all know that uh, Nairobi is the epicenter uh, uh, in Kenya of the virus. And therefore, we support and I think that it should yield some, uh, some good results that uh, the people in Nairobi should be restricted to stay in Nairobi. And those in the villages or the other counties be restricted to stay there for the time being. But then follow up to that, I think there must come a time uh, when we must have uh, mass testing because uh, this must lead to something. Just restricting people for 21 days, then you say, okay, what will lead us to now open? You know, there must be something that should happen within the 21 days. For example, mass testing of uh, the people in, uh, in Nairobi area and the other counties that are, are, are been, uh, are been uh, uh, imposed with restrictions for travel, so that uh, at the end of the 21 days, there's something to show for the curfew. Okay, well laid out procedure. But how do you support 
perhaps the measures adopted by the government, as you said, that we need to stand by the government, when there is false sense of security that the government is having at the moment in regard to what has transpired at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport when it intended to shroud in secrecy the landing of the Chinese flight and now in the midst of the calamity calling for the intertwinement of all efforts. Isn't it also on one end hypocritic of the government in first failing to offer a communication channel that was right from the onset? I will agree with you that uh, uh, there are some lapses that have happened, but this is not the time to look at uh, the lapses. This is the time to make the correction, fight the pandemic as a, as, as a country. We can look at those uh, lapses later on, probably as parliament when we're doing over oversight, because we are, I'm part of the team that really condemned the allowing of uh, the Chinese uh, 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 plane to land when we knew very well that uh, the situation was very bad uh, in China at that uh, particular time. So this is not the time for, for blame game. This is the time to unite, support the government, uh, work as a team, all arms of parliament, to ensure that uh, we fight this common enemy. We can look at the other details after we have overcome the enemy. And I am sure that uh, as a team, we will overcome the enemy, the pandemic. All right. And before we finish up, this is on an important note. Then is time ripe enough for the Kenyan people, the government in this particular case, in authority, to put up efforts together in one, revamping our healthcare system, two, accessibility to affordable healthcare, three, ensuring that all Kenyans are universally covered, and that in the foreseeable future, of course, another pandemic is inevitable, then our healthcare system and infrastructure will be able to withstand that now that there are restrictions and no one with regards to, of course, or regardless of his status, will be flying out of the country to get medical treatment abroad. You have just nailed it, uh, uh, my brother. Uh, our weakest link in the, this fight has been uh, our weak in uh, medical infrastructure. And I think it is a high time that uh, we must now look at our medical infrastructure so that uh, we develop to a level where we can be self-sufficient. And uh, uh, you put it uh, very well that um, we should get to a stage where uh, we all get our treatment here, even uh, those in power, those with power, those in power, those with money. Let all have a, a medical infrastructure that uh, is reliable uh, to every to every citizen of this country. All right, Asante Sana, the Vihiga County Senator George Haniri joining us on Skype here on the broadcast. Appreciated. Thank you, Senator, for joining us here on the program and of course also confirming your status so that you are now mathematically out of the 17 projected cases of reported coronavirus reportedly coronavirus